Hi everyone, good morning. I'd love to share with you today my one of my favorite pranayamas or breathwork techniques, which is the three-part Durga breath or uh, deep belly breathing, some like to call it. And I use this in almost every, I teach this in almost every yoga class. Um, it's really a helpful way to not only activate your parasympathetic nervous system and your relaxation response, but it teaches us how to breathe deeper. Um, normally, we humans tend to only breathe in the upper chest area, which actually activates the sympathetic nervous system, which is our uh, flight or flight mode, our stress, our stress response area. So um, we want to really learn how to utilize our entire lung capacity, which is not only going to relax us, calm us down, but breathing and getting more oxygen is also really good for the brain. So, um, follow along with me today and know that you can then use this practice, um, in not only to calm yourself down in moments of stress or anxiety, but also just in general throughout your day. I hope you take this with you and really, um, try to practice it every day and let it become a habit that becomes ingrained in your life so that you can know that you're fully deeply breathing in every moment as much as possible um, and get the full benefits of all that oxygen. And so we're going to isolate each zone of the lung capacity. We tend to breathe in this upper chest area, which I mentioned earlier, and that's only about 10% of our lung capacity. Another 40% lives or another 30%, sorry, lives in this rib cage area and our final 60%, 60% lives in the low belly area. So if we breathe into the low belly, this is how we can use our entire lung capacity. <clears throat> so we'll start off just isolating each area. I just want you to see how it feels. So just take a few deep breaths here in through your nose and out through either your mouth or nose is fine into the upper chest and just notice how that feels. You're very short, right? You can't really fill up your chest that much. So if you're just breathing in the upper chest area, it naturally feels more high energy, more stressful. It feels like that kind of panic attack inducing kind of breath. So now try to breathe in your rib cage area. Bring your hands to your rib cage and just feel feel as your rib cage expands. Feel and watch, maybe watch in the mirror or something how your rib cage expands out to the sides. See how my hands lift and then lower. Okay, so that's only 30% of your lung capacity. Now bring your hands to your belly and try to breathe in through your nose and send it all the way down deep into the belly. Expand the belly. Let the belly fill up like a balloon. And then exhale, release. Contracting the belly, squeezing it like you're trying to push out that air. Good, try that again. Inhale through the nose. Expanding the belly and then exhale, contracting and squeezing the air out. Good. So notice the difference and see how it feels when we fill up all of the areas. So we're going to start off by, and you can move your hands around um, so that you can feel how your breath uh, fills up throughout this practice. Allow yourself to move your hands as you breathe in through that area, or you can take one hand to the rib cage, one hand to the belly, whatever works for you, but just whatever helps you to notice your breath. So go ahead and close your eyes if that feels good to you. Otherwise, just watch me or watch in the mirror how it's going for you to kind of help train you. So we'll try just breathing in and adding on each zone as we go. Good. So just one natural breath, let it out, and deep breath in. Inhale through the nose, expanding the belly, expanding the rib cage. 
And expanding the upper chest, one little last sip of air. Good, and then exhale from the top to the bottom. Good, again, inhale, breathing in through the nose. First, filling up the belly, letting the belly expand, filling up the rib cage, and then last little sip of air into the top of the chest. Good, exhale, release. And notice as you do this that we're sending the breath first down deep into the belly and we're filling up as we're stacking the breath on top of each other. So it's like when you fill up a bucket of water, the bottom of it fills up first and then it gets higher and higher from there. And it's the same thing when we're exhaling and releasing the breath, we're pouring the water out just like we would with a bucket. The water from the top comes out first and then the next, the middle area, and then the very last little trickle of the water. So you want to imagine inhaling, sending it down and filling up from the bottom to the top and then releasing from the top to the bottom and squeezing, almost like you're squeezing out from the top to the bottom, the air, squeezing it out into that last little bit of air. So let's try this um, together again, um, a little bit more centered this time. So Find a comfortable seat, whatever that is for you. You can be in a chair with your feet on the floor, or if you're on the floor, make sure that your hips are elevated and your, your sits bones are rooted down into the earth. And just start by feeling that connection and feeling grounded with the earth. And then from there, allow your spine to grow long and tall. So your crown of your head reaches up slightly tuck your chin a little bit. We want proper and good alignment for the, breath the breathing practice. So go ahead and bring your hands to wherever feels good for you if you'd like to track your breath. And close your eyes if that feels good. And then go ahead and your let, let out all of your breath, just natural breath, just let it out. And we'll start now. Inhale, deep breath in, down to the belly, filling up the rib cage and the upper chest and exhale, let it out from the top to the bottom. Good. Inhale again, deep in the belly. Expand the belly, expand the rib cage. And sip in that last little breath of air in the upper chest. Good, and then exhale from the top to the bottom. Squeezing out the air from the bottom. Inhale in. Expand the belly, the rib cage, the upper chest. And then exhale from the chest through the rib cage to the belly. Good breathing in, deep in the belly. Rib cage, upper chest. And then exhale, upper chest, rib cage, and belly. Again, breathing in. Deep into the belly, expand the belly. Rib cage. And that last little breath of air at the top, just like it's the sweetest nectar that you've ever tasted. And then exhale, release it out. Top to bottom. And keep breathing. Keep this practice. at your own pace. Notice how this also might feel a little funny because we tend to breathe the opposite direction. We tend to actually pull our belly in and contract this area when we breathe. So we're retraining the mind to expand these areas when we breathe and contract them when we release and let it out. So 
So keep going. You can do hand motions like me if that helps you. Filling up, filling our cups. Take your last deep breath. Remember starting from the belly, filling up to the top and then exhaling from the top to the bottom. And then on your next exhale, just allow your hands to come to the knees. Relax yourself and just come back to a natural breath. Just notice, notice if anything's changed for you. With this natural breath now, maybe you, you might have switched the direction of the breath and you might be expanding now on the inhales and contracting on the exhales. Or you might just be feeling a little bit more filled up, a little bit of a deeper breath. Either way, I hope that this breath helps you calms you, relax you, relaxes you, and just can be there for you in any moment of the day. Your breath is your lifeline. It is the one thing that we always have no matter what. <laughs> so um, remember that you can always come back to this and just start to catch yourself and notice in any random moment of the day, if you're not breathing deep enough, you can come back to this practice.